Give me a few minutes and I'll show you how to add stickers to Final Cut Pro. I'll show you the right way to import them and I'll share two ways to score some free stickers right inside of Final Cut. At the end, I'll show you how to animate your stickers, upping your production value. There's a couple ways you can import a sticker into Final Cut Pro. The first way is to use the import menu. Go up to File, Import, Media, or just press Command-I. Brings up this window here, and down at the bottom, find your stickers, select them, tell Final Cut what event you want them to add to, and then click Import Selected. So now these lips are in here. Another way to add them is directly from Finder. Go to Finder and select your sticker and drag and drop it into your browser here, or you can even drag and drop it right into the timeline. So now I've got this sticker on my timeline and it was added up here into my browser. I don't need it for now, so I'll just delete it, but I still have access to it up here. There's a few different ways you can add your stickers to your project. First, select your sticker, and then turn on Skimming Playhead by pressing S. You should have this red playhead that moves around with your mouse, and set it to where you want your sticker to start. So I want my sticker right here. I'm gonna press Q, and it attaches it on top of the other clips. I can also put it at the end of my project, pressing E. If I want to insert it, I just move my playhead where I want it to go and press W. And that splits whatever click I was over into the sticker. I can also do it here at edit points. If I want to overwrite whatever's in my timeline with the sticker, I move my playhead to that spot and I press D. Now all those clips are overwritten with my sticker. And of course you can always do drag and drop. I can change the duration of my sticker by clicking and dragging one of the edit points. I can also select it, press Ctrl D, and it brings up the duration option here, these blue numbers, and I'll just put in 300 for three seconds. Uh, just changed it a little bit, perfect. I can also resize and move this around. Select the sticker, right click in the viewer, select transform, and I can click and drag on one of these corner handles to change the size. The top and bottom and side handles squish it and stretch it unless I'm holding down shift then it changes the size. I can also click anywhere on the sticker and move it around. Let's make it a little bit smaller, there we go, and down here. I can also rotate it with this little control here. Looks good. When I finish resizing and moving it, I'll click done. We can quickly and easily create some emoji stickers right in Final Cut Pro. Go to the Titles browser and scroll up to the top to build in and out. Drag and drop custom to your timeline and change the duration. Select custom and in the viewer double click where it says title until all the letters are selected. Now go up to edit and all the way at the bottom select emoji and symbols. And now let's find an emoji we want to make our sticker. Let's do this one where he's blowing a kiss and we'll close that and we'll select it and open up the inspector. It'll be here on the right. If you don't see it, click this button up here with the three sliders. Go to the title inspector and make sure your emoji is selected and then let's increase the size. We can also build some text stickers right in Final Cut Pro. Go to the type, back in the title browser, add custom to your video, change the duration, and then go down to the generator section and click on elements. Drag and drop shapes underneath your title, but above your video clip and change the duration. Select the shapes generator and go up to the generator inspector and change the shape to square. Let's turn off outline and let's change the fill color. That looks good. And let's Let's turn off drop shadow and let's scale this down just a little bit. Select the title clip and then double click on the text and let's add some new words. Let's channel our inner Abed. Cool. All right, and let's move that up. And in the text inspector, let's change our font. Uh, let's try this, I like that. And let's make it a little bit bigger. And I can use this on-screen control to move it around. All right, that looks pretty good. Scroll down to the bottom and click show for face. Let's change the color of the text to that dark purple, that looks good. And then enable outline and click show and change color to white. Let's make it a little bit thicker. Whoa, not that much, there we go. And let's reduce the space between these lines. Select all of them and decrease space. There we go, now we'll readjust it. Oh, one more thing, go back to the shape generator, select the shape generator, and let's do a little bit of roundness on those corners. There we go, now it's looking like a sticker, perfect. Select both layers and let's turn it into a compound clip. Press Alt G and name it. Now right click on it, select transform, 
And now you can move this sticker around wherever you want. You can also change the size like before and we can rotate it. Cool, cool, cool. What do you think? Do you think Abed would like this video? Do you think he would call it cool, cool, cool? If you think so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see this video? Thank you. All right, now it's time to bring these stickers to life. Let's animate them. Let's start with this lip one here. Open up the transition browser and scroll down to movements category and then find page curl. This is one of my favorite effects or animations for stickers because it makes it look like a real sticker. And add page curl to your sticker. Delete the second one, select the sticker transition and in the inspector change direction to close. That looks pretty good, but I want to make it look more like a sticker. So select the transition and use these on-screen controls to change how the sticker bends. I want it to kind of animate down through the tongue and the lips. Then the inspector, let's adjust the radius to give it more of a curl. Let's try it at about 10. And then for back color, click it once and make sure it's white. Then it'll look like the back of a sticker. Here's how that looks. That looks pretty cool. It's like a sticker getting applied to the video. Let's animate our emoji sticker. I want our emoji sticker to grow in size. What's cool about this text that we use is it has a bunch of built-in animators for us. So I'll take in scale and set that to zero. And then duration, I want to shorten it. Let's try about there, 16. That looks pretty good. It grows into place. All right, for this custom sticker we made, I want it to slide on from the left to the right. So I'll go to my transition browser under movements and I'm looking for slide. Here it is. First, I'm gonna put it in its own storyline. Drag and drop slide onto your clip and let's put it here at the front. Let's change our duration and play it back. Nice, the sticker slides into place. All right, here's a cool thing you can do with your stickers. You can track them and stick them to a certain part of your video. I've got this surfer here and I've got this cool Hawaii Aloha Surf sticker that I want to attach to the surfer. The easiest way to do that is to drag and drop your sticker onto the viewer and you'll get a little box like this, a shape box. We'll put that over our surfer and then it adds the sticker to the timeline and now we need to track it. Let's turn off the sticker for a second so we can see. Select it, press V to disable it, and we can adjust this box if we need to, and but it looks pretty good. The size looks good and this location looks good. Now I'll press Analyze, and Final Cut Pro will analyze this video clip, and let's see. It does pretty good. There's a little jump right there, some weirdness going on, but for the most part, it's pretty good track. Let's turn back on our sticker and up here click on the little arrow and remove rotation and now click transform and let's make this sticker much smaller there we go and i want it over here on his right hand side and let's press done and let's trim the sticker too to match the length of the surfer let's play it back nice that looks good the sticker loves to surf so that's how to add stickers to final cut pro have you ever wanted to do a picture in picture effect like this well, I've got your back. I made a video called How to Do Picture in Picture in Final Cut Pro, and I think you might like it. Click here to check it out.